My name is Michael Schmidt, and I'm a clothing and jewelry designer working primarily in the entertainment industry. A focus of my work has been in adapting unusual materials to the body. I was approached by my friends at the Ace Hotel in New York, with whom I've collaborated in the past on some interior design projects. They were hosting a symposium for Fall 2013 Fashion Week on the phenomenon of 3D printing and how that may have ramifications for the fashion industry. I designed a gown inspired loosely by the mathematical formula known as the Golden Ratio, a spiral that historically is said to quantify ideal proportions of beauty. I partnered with a brilliant architect named Francis Batonti. He was able to take my sketches for the gown and transform them into a digital code. He's located in New York and I'm based in LA, so we worked it all out over Skype, essentially draping the virtual gown in his computer. This code became the source material for the 3D printing process, which was executed by the company Shapeways. 3D printing is really not as complicated as it sounds. It's a lot like a regular printer, except that it prints not only in length and width, but also in depth. The machine lays down a fine layer of powdered material, such as nylon, and a laser solidifies the powder according to your design. Another layer is deposited, the laser hardens that, and subsequent layers are solidified until the final form is built. The residual powder is then vacuumed away and you have a fully rendered item. The challenge becomes how to take this sculptural material and make it wearable. This dress is unique in that it achieves malleability due to the 3,000 articulated joints rendered within the printing process itself. Shapeways printed the gown in 17 separate sections, which we then dyed, lacquered, and joined together to give the dress its final form. As a finishing touch, we embellished the gown by hand with over 12,000 Swarovski crystals. I chose the combination of jet and jet hematite crystal to give the suggestion of shimmer. It's an understated effect, but it takes the dress to another level. This one-of-a-kind gown simply wouldn't be the same without the addition of Swarovski elements. The dress was designed for burlesque icon Dita Von Teese. The style of the gown is actually a nod toward Dita's flair for classic Hollywood glamour, but achieved through futuristic means. The beauty of this technology is that you can create forms that are unimaginable, uncreatable in any other way. The human hand can only do so much before you need technological intervention. This technology allows you to create items that are limited solely by your imagination. Incredible, magical things.